What's going on YouTube? It's Bad Habit 6 0 here again. Um, so I know it's been about a week. I'm sorry if the wind is all weird, but I'm starting this new thing that I'm going to do. Uh, I'm kind of a mixture of like a review, but I'm going to do it all in one take. So I'm going to start calling them uh, one take truck reviews. And today we're going to start out with my 6 0, my truck. Um, so this is Jolene. Those of you that have been uh, following me on Instagram, you know, uh, that I got this truck back in March. Uh, I bought it with 117,000 miles on it. I want to say it was no 114,000. Um, it's 05 Lariat. I mean, this truck is absolutely stunning. Like passenger seat, no rips. Don't mind my running shoes back seat is immaculate don't mind that that's the kids side uh, and the one spot that everybody always seems to have tears on always is this driver's side seam right here but me nothing it could use a little bit of leather conditioner it's starting to get a little uh, a little sticky if you will but right now the truck has I don't know if you can see that 129,000 miles on it I don't know if it's backwards because I'm using my phone. So again, another one take. But we're going to go over basically what's all done to the truck. Um, in these uh, reviews, we're going to go over what's done to the truck. Um, basically just a, an overview. And then I'm going to give it my own personal rating. So we'll start with the motor. I have a bone stock motor. Not studded. I deleted it uh, before the EPA came out with all their stuff. I had it deleted. Uh, it's got the AFE Stage 2 intake on it. And it's got an MBRP 5-inch exhaust with their high-flow muffler. So, I mean, it's not true straight pipe. But I kind of live in a neighborhood where I don't want to be that asshole, if you will. I don't want to be that guy that's... You know, got the loudest truck. I mean, yeah, I'm going to put a 10 blade on this turbo so it does scream, but... And then I'm going to have an eight, seven or 8-inch tip. I still got to figure out what Ryan and I are doing from AOW. Um, still waiting on that to fall through. Uh, I also have 2008... And my buddy, with, my neighbor with his second gen just fired it up. I have the 2008 Mirrors color matched to the truck um thanks to spick diesel on instagram i will put his instagram down below in the comment or in the uh description box and i mean this truck has a dura liner Ooh, i bought it with that i got a couple of stickers on it um future plans for this truck because it's kind of part of my one take them ugly things are going to be gone that gap gonna be gone um oh yeah it is my neighbor with the second gen uh block delete one inch drop shackle in the rear to bring that all down so that'll be roughly five inches lowered and then in the front i'm going with the 4800 uh the 4800 pound coil spring for the gassers with one coil cut off, and then XRF uh, front end, tie rods and all that, because they have their million mile warranty. Um, new OEM bearings, because, just because. I kind of want to get the banks, um, what's it called? The, uh, the banks diff cover that they just came out with. I hope they make it for a 6.0, I haven't looked into it. It's something that I've wanted to do is get an aftermarket diff cover. I mean, I know the truck's going to be lowered. It's going to get traction bars and all that. And it's going to look like an aggressive street truck, race truck almost. But with it being lowered, you're not going to be able to see anything. I'm going to get rid of this hideous chrome, both there, there. Get rid of the taillights. Get rid of that blue emblem. Get rid of that uh, tip. Everything's going to get color matched to the truck. I already have the tip uh, powder coat colors picked. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm just waiting on Ryan to, you know, 
get through some of these other orders that he's got and then we're gonna bang out mine hopefully for Daytona um, James Spickler over at Spick Diesel that did my mirrors he's doing my tail lights he's doing my third brake light he's gonna do my headlights he's gonna do my badges he's gonna do my emblems uh, and then I'm gonna try and find some other miscellaneous things to send him maybe door handles I'll do uh, leave us comment below on what else you think I should color match. Um, the bumpers are going to be the tan. They're going to be that tan. I'm going to get color matched headlights with the, the cool spider lights. The grill is going to be, uh, so this is going to be the gray and then the honeycomb is going to be the tan. This is going to say bad habits 60 tan. Hopefully I can get my forces for this truck. I'm not telling people what I'm getting. There's only one person that knows. Actually, a few people know what I want, kind of, but there's only one person, my plug. Can't leak it until I get the forces in. Uh, 22 by 12 concaves, so they're gonna be a negative 54, 55 offset, wrapped in. And this is gonna be another thing. I'm gonna put a pole out for it. Um, either Toyo proxies, or the Nitto 420Vs, the new one that they just came out with. I like the 420S, but not really my style. Everybody's got them. I, I had proxies on my truck before. Loved them to death. Loved them, loved them, loved them. But I think I could switch it up. Or I'm going to go with the Aturo uh, 8000S or whatever, 800s, the 800S or whatever that is, the Aturo street tire, or there's the Federal street tire that looks identical because I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, that's the same freaking tire. So I'm not trying to uh, spend thousands upon thousands of dollars on tires because I'm already spending thousands upon thousands on forged rims. So I gotta keep this fire going here. My wife wants to come out and enjoy some fire, but that's pretty much Jolene. Let me see if I can get this camera flipped around here for you guys. So, 08 bumper or roll pan? Don't know yet. Leave a note in the comments. Um, I'm getting the special LEDs with the little uh, LED strip that goes around the outside. Full Chemical Guys detail will be done by yours truly. Um... In the coming months uh, and I'm gonna be putting videos out on how I do it these ugly things which are already starting to peel are coming off I'm gonna try and find some new trim of this but mine's not bad um, so this will come off these are gonna come off I'm debating on if I want to get color matched ones of these or if I want to get color matched 67 style for 60 color matched F-350, Super Duty, Lariat, all that's going to stay the same. Already got color matched mirrors, which is great. Um, thinking about color matching my windshield wiper cowl. Um, color matched, color matched, color matched. We already went over. I'm going to be doing LEDs in the fog lamps. I'm going to be doing LED switchbacks in the turn signal. And I'm going to be doing LEDs in the uh, normal right now i have these are uh these are tinted um they're a tinted smoked lens with a white light um i'm probably going to be switching to led switchbacks for this as well uh, i'm waiting on my ronin or ronin i don't know how you pronounce it and i really don't care bullet antenna um, I might send that to James to go get color matched. Thinking about color matching these, not sure. Um, more chemical guys detailing along the whole truck. We're going to try and... I'm going to try and paint correct this truck because there are some spots where, you know, things can get kind of iffy. Yes, there's paint pen. No, it wasn't me. It was the previous owner who... Did it. Uh, I bought this off a lot in North Car North Northern California. Um, so surprisingly, I got a four-wheel drive, one ton, with low miles, and it's been great to me. I've driven this thing across the country. Love it. Fishbowl going away. 
I'm gonna be doing 5% all the way around, 50 on the windshield. Um, obviously stickers galore, uh, but there's going to be a time where forces, street tires, lowered, blah. But there will be a couple of videos coming out once I actually get all the stuff I need and I get my GoPro and I get all that, that I'll be doing of me detailing this thing, getting it ready for Daytona, all of that good jazz. So, kind of to wrap this video up with my uh, rate, my rating for it. I'm not even being prejudiced because it's my truck, but I give this a six. And I give it a six because it's not done. When it's done in my eyes, it'll be a 10. Probably if I can get body lines fixed. If I can get some of these dents fixed, which, you know, you really don't see them unless you unless I show you. Um, if I got this thing completely repainted, redone, new bed, new everything, frame powder coated, frame like sandblasted, all, all that good jazz, then the truck would be a 10. But for me right now, the way it sits, five inch exhaust, um, tune, I'm running just a can tune from SCT, and the intake, I'm at a solid six. It's a clean truck. It's got 129,000 miles on it. It's an 05. It, this is my grandpa truck right now. So, with all that being said, this is a six. I will catch y'all later. Hopefully, I can do a video of Thought Tiana before she sells. Speaking of which, if you're interested in one of my trucks, well, not this one. If you're interested in my white truck and you want to buy it, let me know. Hit me up on the gram. I'll put my Instagram in, down below in the uh, in the description. I'll put uh, a link to Spick Diesel. I'll put a link to um, Chemical Guys, all that. I mean, you can go find them. It's not hard, at Chemical Guys. At Chemical Guys, at Spick Diesel, at Bad Habits 6.0, Bad Habits underscore 6.0. Follow me. I mean, this is the start. So let's see how it does and I will catch y'all on the flip side.